uh, suspect there's a problem with this uh, pressure control valve. Um, as you can see, it's uh, leaking over there and it's been doing so for quite a while. Um, it's a Cobra water tech and the tools you'll need for this repair are some water pliers and spanners and as well as some fittings. So I've connected this pressure gauge to here and you can see it's reading uh, 6.5 bar approximately. If I open, uh, that's before the um, actual pressure release valve. As you can see the water comes in this way across. So that's the municipal line pressure into the system. I've bought these parts. Uh, this is from Cobra, which is the original manufacturer of this. This is the um, cartridge that goes into it. It goes through on this top. And then there's this diaphragm which goes in, in here. So I suspect it's the diaphragm that's not working well and I'll replace that and see if the leak persists. If not, then I will replace this part. Now to do this, I'm first going to loosen this with this um, spanner or ply water, water pliers. But I first turn off the water supply and then I let out the water so that I don't get a flood coming in here. Make sure it's off. Uh, on that note, just a note. I also had to turn off the inlet to the geyser because the hot water was flowing. The hot water was flowing back down out here as I loosened this. Now let's see. It seems much better. There it is, it's leaking a bit of water, but um, this is the old one, looks fine to me, I doubt whether this was a problem, but see there's some, some stones in here, I don't know if one can zoom in, like over there, maybe that's what was causing the problem. Um, I'll just spend some time sanding down the inside over there uh, to add a bit of like rust on it and um, just, this, just sand it like this and I also sand it down inside here you can see there's a bit of copper rust over there till it was smooth and um, I noticed something that these two are slightly different um, the new one is completely plastic all over, uh, whereas the old one had metal inside it. I'm not sure exactly what's the best route now, but I think it's better just to replace it with the new one. And the new one also has this little tube here that goes into that spring over there. Okay, um, it's all replaced now. Uh, let me turn on the main water supply. Pressure up the geyser. See it's zero. Fully powered. about seven bar the main municipal or 700 kilopascals um, you can see there's no water dripping out of here anymore 
that seems to have um, sorted a problem, I hope. Well, I guess not. I think I have to replace this part now as well. Because it's dripping even more than before. It's coming straight out here. Since that didn't work, I'm going to replace this part here. I've emptied the system. As you can see, the pressure is dropping. Zero. So there's basically no pressure in the system. I'm emptying out the last bit of water, as you can see. And uh, we're ready to go. So when I opened this part here, a whole lot of gunk came out of here. Should have actually opened this part first to get all that out. Here's the old one. I think this is a simple procedure to put the new one in. Here's the new one. So um, there it is, uh, fully replaced with the new one. I don't know um, if it's leaking or not. We'll have to see, but there's full pressure in the system as you can see.